Hello, hello everyone! I have my reverb on, don't I? Ugh, give me one second. Is my reverb on? Is it good? Is, are, we, are we okay? I think we're okay. Hi everyone, welcome in! I like how Mookie doesn't realize that all her viewers are all on different accounts. Don't believe me? Watch me post this on my other accounts. You know what? I'm Earl too. You know, fuck it. Yeah, you know me? Me? Nagami Mugi? Me, yeah. I'm actually Earl. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I like how you just jumped in. Yeah, I think for, for YouTube streams, we're not gonna have like a starting scream, ending scream. Um, I think we're just gonna keep it as... We're just gonna jump right in, and then we're gonna just leave right afterwards yeah no intro it's just me yeah no no intro at all it's just hi guys welcome <laughs> but welcome in everyone hero random gray iggy dragon or earl balazar welcome in welcome welcome hope you guys are doing well cameron hello welcome in as well i hope you guys are doing well um wait stream start ping when wait what <laughs> Hi guys! Okay, bye! Yeah, exactly! <laughs> oh! Oh, pink court! Ah! Manu, hello! Welcome to the stream! Ah! Oh, I'm glad! I'm glad it worked! Thank you so much, Earl, for helping, helping me set that up. I really do appreciate it. Shiny, welcome in! Manu, welcome in! Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome! I'm glad it worked! That's great! Did I get the ping? I didn't get the ping. Oh, I did get the ping. I lied. Oh, that's awesome! Love to see that! That's great! Thank you so much, Earl, for helping me set it up. This is Earl? Oh god, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, Earl. I, I apologize. I, um... I'm, I'm so sorry. Discord mutes automatically if you stream. Yeah, but usually I still get, like, the notification that I got, like, a at. <laughs> Gaslighting yourself. Dude, that's... I, I do that all the time. No one can gaslight the gaslight master except for me. Yeah, oh god. Um, we're gonna get straight into it. Um, I forgot which day we were on. I think we were on day six. And I remember on day six. Oh, fuck me. Did I not? So I don't think I saved. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're okay, we're okay. We're... We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> just kidding, guys. just kidding. <laughs> we're fine, we're okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, Moogie gaslighting Moogie. Um, happens more often than you think. Yeah, we slept at the bar last night because it was dangerous outside. No, 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 I was gaslighting myself. It's not gaslighting you guys if I also believed it. Hiyato, welcome to the stream. How are you doing well? Welcome in, welcome in. I was ready for scuff. Nah, nah, nah. No scuff here. Never, never scuff here. What are you talking about? We've, we've never been scuffed before. Uh-huh. That's crazy. What? <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll just get straight into it, I guess. So we are on day six, I believe. We just finished day five. And we, for people who weren't here last time, we slept at the bar and now we are still at the bar we didn't go home and now we are awake at the bar but yeah we'll just uh we'll just go ahead and get started <clears throat> rise and shine oh, good morning it's 11 a.m though that's morning for me on weekends and any other day How's everything outside? That's still morning. 11 a.m. is still morning. I I would consider that to be morning. That's 12, 12 p.m. is afternoon. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I uh, worked out today. I had a good workout. I did some cleaning in the house. That was some good cleaning. And then I didn't shower. I'll shower after stream, I promise. Um, And yeah, now I'm here. Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corp's presidents pleading with anyone to stop rogue white knights. 
Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have been also been the ports of White Knights just freezing. Like they were petrified somehow. Ayo hey, DJ Trainer, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in good place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there are still some bad apples out, and it's really not safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. Oh. That's not good. Oh no. So not only are there white knights a, uh so not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say even safer where he wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Are we going to work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh shit, no work today! Oh wow! That's uh, that's new. We don't have work today. Oh, alright. Say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Don't we have a cat? Don't we need to like... I don't know, go make sure our cat's alright? <laughs> okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh! Whoa! What is this? This is new. And here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. I mean, mostly to thank you for helping me. Not to go on a date or anything. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I see. Two more beer. I was gonna say, to one of us going to the Spanish announcer's table. What? But I think we're safe here. Uh, come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though, smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing like a kotatsu and a heater can't fix. Oh, right boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here either. Oh, oh, you didn't bring your jacket here. Oh, oh, I guess we have to... We have to share body heat. Oh, oh, we have to share body heat, of course. <laughs> yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold. I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I, I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait. But where did you get this one? Um, don't know. Some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing. It just looks like the one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Did she steal her hoodie? <laughs> is she is she just lying that she got it from flea market? She just stole it from Dana. <laughs> Too much use. It just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyways. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? Jill was simping over her boss the whole time without not knowing how old she was? That feels a little problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eternally 17! Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew! Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, fuck me then, I guess. God damn. 
All right. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. Oh, that's a cut. That's four. Say, Jill. There's a blue-eyed mass of black flare glaring, glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just four. He's just wary of new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. Go one more quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on the black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, kind of weird, huh? At first, I thought they were like that because they were small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, we had a bear. <laughs> what? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Back at home, we had a bear! <laughs> uh, I... Uh, what? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. R right. Huh? This picture here isn't something you see every day. What? Me taking such a sappy photo? No, a framed picture on a printed paper. It's so... Vintage. Who are these? Um, that's a... One on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabriel, her sister. Huh. Is this picture recent, or... Actually, that one's from three, four years ago. You look exactly the same! I'm only 27, what did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone printed on framed. Did you, do break did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when you calling her ex. <sighs> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and... I guess I still have feelings for her. I just... went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing. And you look so happy in the pic. Why have a pic like this out in the open, then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. That's gay. That's gay! Gay! Gay, gay, gay! That's gay! I feel like we need a... Gay! 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 gay, 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 gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crook, Crook a Gamer, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Merry late Christmas. Hope you're doing well. Doing good, doing good. We're just playing some cyberpunk today. Fun fact, completely black cats are almost extinct. Every black cat almost has some white fur. Oh, really? Why? Tong, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, Tong Tong. Welcome, welcome. Dozing off and knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Gay! I don't know. It felt nostalgic. And then miserable. I'll... Just put this away. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's this on the table? Huh. <laughs> it looks like an envelope. It's nothing. Nothing! Now, please give that to me. Okay. I saw nothing. Don't worry. A anyways, let's uh, grab some beers. Guide me. Oh, that's so cute! That's super cute! K! 
Gay. 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 God, the fucking uh, soundboard is so much fun. Well, the BTC gives me discounts to, uh, and a point card so I can use them every time I buy their alcohol. Beer so far zero. Cans left 12. Okay, interesting. Can I drink? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> but that beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Drink! I'll drink to that. <clears throat> is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the one at the bar is more like a double IPA. This one's more like a Pilsner. In English, please! This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Don't know. It doesn't taste like a lighter- it doesn't taste like a lighter to me. Oh, that was supposed to be a joke. Ha uh, yeah, ha funny! Ah uh, yeah, so funny! Ha 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 Is this one made with that um what was the name of the base liquid you used at the bar again? What? Nutriogenic dichrometrical lidogeno or ND okay, NDL. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water, then made and kissed populated polluted the water supplies. The effects of the pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. Is this one made with it? Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for package drink package drinks. I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill! I'll drink to that. Fuck it. I am a nerd. You're right. I'll drink again! Fuck it! I am a nerd! Woo! One more! Another beer! Guilty as charged. I still have that one bottle of rum somewhere. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really. No, I'm good. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Parasocial! Parasocial! Par Parasocial! Parasocial! Par 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 Parasocial! Gay! <laughs> well... In case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm boss my name only. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprises me that you kept that poster of me. Oh, right. Right, right. The poster of um the boss that we have. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't point that out earlier. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Gay! Aside, of, aside from filling an empty spot in my wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you... Don't know. A doodle shaped trophy or something, and you had it there as like a conversation starter. Although, no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago, I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did something hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, 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 nothing of that sort. It's a different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. Uh, not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for! Gay! Wait! You talk about the poster compared it to having a dodo-shaped trophy? Did you just call me dodo face? That's what friends are for. Gay! Hey boss, be honest with me here. 
About what? Who's Jill exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? Oh yeah, that. Well, I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain that Jill was in the Hong Kong riots. He took part in the anti-riot force before defecting. That should give me a clue as to who he is, but... But... So far, I've only found out about one such defector. He didn't leave Hong Kong for at least four years. Oh, hey, Fiddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, Fiddy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. And it's always like that. And I think I have a clue as to who he is. Something else comes up that contradicts that evidence. Glassy Sai, hello, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Well, Glassy, welcome, welcome. That guy's troublesome. A bit, yeah. <sighs> I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell peppers. <laughs> important fact, very important. Drink, 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 drink. I've seen and even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. Drink! He's not. Man, what a baby. How did you meet such a guy? He... Showed up in the door of the bar. What? Bell pepper is not yucky. I had bell pepper tonight. Dude, I ate that shit raw. It's so good. It's like... It's like fruit. But like... A bit savory. I love bell pepper. It's so good. How dare you? My opinion is the only right opinion. How dare you? <laughs> he... What? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation, po uh, levitation potion. Right. Levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just... Showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He... Huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he washed himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Prini, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well, Prini. Welcome in, welcome in. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judged him for what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade... Esca escapade? Escapade? Es escapade? Es escapade? Escapade? Escapee? Esca How do you pronounce this word? Escapade? I have no idea. Escapade. Escapade? Escapade. Escapade. <laughs> Escapade's nuts. <laughs> He's been as loyal as loyal gets. I returned the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself and I always kept my eye on him. And besides, after the whole robber thing, I couldn't just ignore someone that desperate, uh, that desperate so easily. I see, what, what's the robber thing? Have we ever heard about this? It seems like Jill understands what she's talking about, but I, I have no idea what she's talking about. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know. How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. 
Wow, my favorite character, blonde titty hacker. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> wow, my favorite, blonde titty hacker. Alma? I was gonna say, what? Armitage! Yeah, that's her name, Armitage. She's a nice girl, you know. I don't think she's young enough to be called a girl. Says the girl who's eternally 17. In any case, she's really lovely. When you hear her speak of her family, she speaks with such love. Her face just brightens up. It makes me kind of jealous that she has such a close relationship with them, to be honest. You have a bad relationship with your parents? Not bad, but I'm not exactly close to anyone aside from my mom, dad, and aunt. But back to Alma, I really hoping she finds a nice guy to settle with. I mean, she's so bent into finding one, I just can't help but want her to succeed. Ah, I see. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen a lot of sex workers over the years, but she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather she takes it with such childish excitement. That's... I wouldn't explain it that way. But you know, you, 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 you do you, uh... <laughs> I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilim can be weird. You think? Lilim operate in really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model or something. Lilim get positive reinforcements straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful, challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilim is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but... Lilim doesn't exactly convey the image of automatons. Just a tip, but... Bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them retarded and dolls like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilim? As far as I know, because they all come from the bigger AI called Lilith. And Lilim are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool! Hello and welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne if we, uh, and you almost- Oh yeah. I called you Julianne, you almost tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's just one of those things that feels silly when you say them out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister was a big fan of her reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything, from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show is about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show presents Jules hating her job because it invited an enemies, and yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, even the main character wasn't a kid. Juliana was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kid show even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. Whoa, you got excited there. 
And that is the problem. Back with them, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs, dressed like her. I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's besides the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I always held my grudge against those fuck jobs, though. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerk asses singing the theme tune of the show mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing's too silly in retrospect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. Then puberty happened, I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Around the time I turned 16, I recognized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. So Jill, what kind of guy was your grandpa? What? <laughs> That was so left field. Every Jennifer hates being called Jennifer. They all want to get called Jenny. Is that true? That might be true. I'm not sure. I don't know too many. I don't know too many Jennifers. Although, did you guys know that I was actually going to be named Jessica? My my English my my English localized name was going to be Jessica officially. I was gonna have my name changed and everything. Um, but I threw a, I threw a big fit because I was like I don't want to be called Jessica, and so I kept my original name, my original Chinese name. <laughs> Nagami Jessica, yeah, that's me. Nagami Jessica. <laughs> that's terrible. Shallow jerkwad is still used today. I don't think I typically hear it anymore, but I think it is still used by some people. I just think maybe Jennifer has too many syllables. You know what I mean? Same with like Julianne, you know? Like Jill is just so much more easier to say. One syllable names are just so much more memorable. You know what I mean? Like, like Jennifer, Jennifer, that's three syllables. If I was born a girl, I would have been called Elizabeth. Oh, really? Elizabeth is a pretty name. I like that. That's really pretty. Jenna isn't really a nickname used in German, so it might be more common in English. Are there Jennifers in German? Is German Jennifer? Is Jennifer? I mean, not Jennifer. But yeah, yes, Jennifer. Sorry. Uh, Excuse me. Is Jennifer a name that's common in German? I don't really know any Jennifer, so... Jennifer sounds like an older name, so maybe it's to feminine... Wait, what? Maybe it's too feminine? You mean, like, it sounds too old? Because, like, I understand if, like, your name is, like, what? If your name is... I don't know, just as an example, like, Jimmy. You know? Uh... Or no no no. Great this is a this is a great example. Like Harold, right? You wouldn't want to be called Harold when you're like twelve years old, you know what I mean? Like that's a, that's an old man's name. Harold sounds like someone I would meet at a retirement home, you know what I mean? So like you wouldn't want to have someone call you Harold if you were like a teenager. Probably like change it to like, I don't know, like Harry or something like that, right? Cause it, it just sounds younger. So, Jill, what kind of guy was your grandpa? He was rough around the edges. The kind of guy that means well, even if he says otherwise. There was an Edith in my high school and she went by her middle- Oh! 
I was almost named Amos. I I'm not gonna lie, man. That's kind of that that's kind of badass, Amos. That's a badass name. <laughs> I would remember an Amos if I ever met a Amos. If I ever met a Amos, that's a tongue twister. A girl in my high school had Gwen as a second name. She hated it. I think Gwen's pretty. Yeah, the two names that I were going to be named, potentially, if I were to use an English name, for my real name, were Rebecca and Jessica. Those are the two. Honestly, both really basic bitch game. <laughs> both really basic bitch names, so I'm glad I didn't change my name. I'm very happy with my real name. Wait, why'd Becca happy? Wait, is the is why'd Becca happy an emote? On Twitch? I mean not to, on, on, not on Twitch, sorry. Uh on uh YouTube. Moogie's a cool name. Moogie is a cool name. I would change my name to Moogie. Uh IRL as well. If I didn't have a cool name to begin with already. But my name itself is pretty cool. <clears throat> One moment he was congratulating my dad for berating him uh, by berating him a little. And the next he was playing with me. Uh. Excuse me. <clears throat> my dad worked a lot and my mom was always traveling so I spent most of my childhood with him. Can I ask how he died? Out of old age. My dad said his last words were something like... Fucking scientist created talking mannequins and they still can't let you upload your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Why the question? I'm curious about you. Really curious. I just realized that even though we see each other almost every day, I know very little about you. Oh. From what you tell me, though, seeing your grandpa's personality rubbed off on you a bit. I've heard that one since I was a kid, actually. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in this circle, too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back at you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time, a redhead, glasses wearing gun nut called Iris. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called Envy... Oh, Nirvana. Ah, that's good. That's good. I like that. I was like, what? It's called Nirvana. And if you thought this city was dangerous... You should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. Uh, on means annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened a Nirvana in the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place far away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with in the Neo, the Neo San Francisco police force. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometimes. Wait. You were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, what? <laughs> Chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on the websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm. I guess there's a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? How old is she again? I don't know, man. 
She says she's 17 plus something, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push that any further. <laughs> I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like going out was the pleasure, rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit and refuses to go out. And you know, if he's a cat, Hey, a cat's fine too, you know. Hey, boss. Um, what will you do when the bar closes? I don't know. Maybe I'll take a friend's offer uh, of working with her. I was also thinking about going back home and helping with things there, or maybe going traveling for a while. I see. Oh, but don't worry. Bureaucracy is slow as fuck, so they won't close the bar for quite a while. Better enjoy being there while you can. Yeah, maybe. Will you be visiting me in whatever bar I end up working in? I have a bone to pick with that guy that supervises the bar I'm planning to get you transferred to. I go there even though I have virtually no reason to. With you there, I did something pleasant to look forward to. Lation! Hi, Lation! Welcome to the stream! Hope you're doing well! Welcome in, welcome in. Um... You're sending me to someone you have problems with? If I have to trust another bar owner, it's certainly him. He's actually a pleasant boss from what I've seen. The fact that he and I have a tendency to go at each other's throats is unrelated matter. I'll trust you on that one then. Don't worry. Maybe I can get you a bracelet made out of wood pieces from the bar's counter or something. Um, we'll see. Hey, I'll tell you what. When the bar closes, let's both take a vacation. Go on a trip. That'll clear your mind a bit. Yeah, maybe. Hope you nice to have, hope you had hope you nice to had holiday. <laughs> hope you had a nice holiday too, my shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my ADHD. Hope you nice to had holiday. Ooh, chapter two. I have an electricity bill? It's $8,000? I don't have $8,000? Well, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, dude. She wants a Daruma. Uh, do I have enough for the Daruma? This one, right? Oh god, it's so mo it's so fucking expensive. I mean, we still have a lot of days until we still have a lot of days until twenty fourth. I think we can have eight thousand by then. Let's get her a Daruma. This one. Oh, fucking hell, inflation, dude. Imagine sending out bills on Christmas. I know. So we have... Oh my god, I don't think we're going to be able to make enough money. Can we make enough money? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four. We have four days. But... God, okay, whatever. All right, let's go to work. We gotta make money. We're poor. Just don't buy useless. Hey, hey, my room looks spectacular, okay? <laughs> it's called style, Dragoner. You wouldn't understand it. Good eve, Gil? Oh, hey, guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? 
I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. See, Jill? You'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you for having a key never arose. True. Anyways, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember that there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't make ladies worry too much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. He's Scottish. <laughs> I was trying to go for British, but you know, whatever works. He's Scottish. Oh, <laughs> top of the morning to you. <laughs> because it's yours. But I told you that you could keep it. Sorry, I just couldn't find myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. right Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here the best we can. Yeah. So, cheer up! Clients smell sadness and fear. We don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. <coughs> Antennas... <laughs> Fuck me. Now I'm self-conscious of the accent. Hey, listen, I never went to fucking school for this, alright? I'm- I'm bound to- I'm bound to not know how to do my accents. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Stephanie, hello! Moogie, hello! Welcome to the stream! Yo, hello! Welcome to the stream! Oh my god, lots of people coming in right now. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in! What's up? What's up? We're just playing some cyberpunk. Uh, Valhalla. I- I got- I saw- I got so used to saying cyberpunk edge runners. We're just playing some cyberpunk Valhalla. Valhalla cyberpunk bartender act- Valhalla. We're playing Valhalla. We're playing- Fuck me, dude. We're playing Valhalla. We jacked? No, we're not jacked. This isn't us. Our character doesn't show up. This is the person we're talking to right now. Anyways, let's start today. Let's start the day! Woo! Can I just do random? Is that possible? I just want to do like random songs. I I don't think I can. Okay. Well, fuck me then. I want to just put it on shuffle. I'll just we'll just grab a bunch of random ones. All right. <clears throat> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I really mean it. Thanks. Oh, who's this? I don't know what, what voice to give her. Excuse me. I'm looking for Donna Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Oh, that's a man. Oh, I thought that was a Hey Mama's Lesbian, dude. Hey, boss! Some Brian guy's looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. 
Uh, she'll, um, uh, you heard her. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Change, change I, I'm gonna make this easier on myself. Change, change the voice a bit. It's all right. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're a BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Um, all right, I, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Sugar rush, sugar rush. Okay, sugar rush. Two of these and then a bunch of alcohol. We're gonna get this man fucking drunk. Gonna fuck him up. All mixed. Yeah. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal of the sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Donna has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but when you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights? Oh, wait. About the White Knights having a lot of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC cert certified bars. BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it apparently has proven as an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now. The modest, low-income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any smaller bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get ixed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This was one of the few places from which I almost never received complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was the whole Farmer's Fabrics affair a little while ago. So much saliva. I want to get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. The suplex? What? I don't think I've ever made one of those before. Give me one of those, please. Have we made a suplex before? I don't think we have. 
Suplex. I don't think we made this before. Alright, let's see. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So eight of those, six of these, and six of these. Did I do that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Yeah. I did do that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, six. Yeah, okay. And then on the rocks, ice. Um, and mixed. Suplex. Counting? Hey, listen, listen, listen. I got no defense. I can't count. <laughs> The registry said that this was an accident while making a power driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill just called you Gil, though. Um, it's Argentinian slang. Um, uh, R Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting through some, some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and time and delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss would talk to Brian about. Who's Stella again? I forgot who Stella was. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, this girl! Right, 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 Stella! Stella! The cat girl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um... Just call me Stella, and... Give me a big beer, please. Huh. Sure, on it. Hey. She's, uh, is she warming up to us? Ooh! Ooh! Okay! <laughs> okay, and the rest is this. There we go. Big beer! She wants a big boy! Uh, are, are you sure it's fine? Are, are you sure you're fine? Um... You know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair, and... Oh... Right, that... So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her that everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, no, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say said anything. At the very least, to break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly one on about this kind of pressure, do I? Um... There was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry. I'm a bit on edge. Private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe 
You want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Von Delay. Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't seem like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about Say. Whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could just solve my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find the words that don't sound hypocritical unless useless or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm me down a bit. Gladly. She wants something sweet. Let's get her something sweet. Um, get her a piano woman. Get her the biggest fucking drink in the, on the fucking menu. Okay, five, five, two, three, three. Okay. Aged, mix. A P woman. Here. Thanks. Seems like you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say's more than a friend to me. She's. She's. Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone who I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack the level of trust. I have to deal with high rank... Oh, sorry. High class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business masks to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in the bar, making other people do the job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna go take my break and you could use some too. Well, we're given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Break time! Taking my water break too. Sip, 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 sip. Sippy, 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 sip. Yeah, I'm gonna hydrate, I'm gonna stretch, and I'm also gonna eat a cough drop. How many of you are still, um... Uh, how many of you are still off for holiday season? I don't know how corporations work in terms of giving people days off for the holidays. I have never worked a job for a full year. Oh, it's only today? Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, god damn. I'm sorry to hear that. If I wouldn't be swapping jobs, I wouldn't have this time. Oh, really? Would you work on Christmas as well? 
because I know um Pixel, he he works um he works at he he works on every single day except for Christmas. took three weeks vacation so i still have a week left to go back on the third oh nice that's awesome so did you take that vacation or the did, did they give you that off you know what i mean <laughs> i usually work holidays yeah pixel usually works holidays as well it sucks man Definitely, like, one of the things I am glad I don't have to deal with because I don't work a regular job. Not having to, uh, work on holidays and stuff. Oh, I mean, I streamed on Christmas, so technically I guess I did work, but it's, it's a bit different, you know what I mean? No one's forcing me to work. I'm choosing to do it myself kind of thing. I took it. It's part of my yearly vacation allocation. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Excuse me. Service jobs tend to get busy as fuck on the... Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, Pixel is a personal trainer, so... Like, during New Year's and Christmas is, like, the busiest time for him. Because everyone wants to get into working out and everyone wants to get back into, you know, fitness and whatnot. So it's a really profitable time. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. I'm so sorry. It's very easy when you don't have a relationship and you don't enjoy family gatherings. I think it's like it's more so the it's not it's not that like I don't I don't celebrate either. Um like I don't really do anything for Christmas. It's not I, I don't like, you know, do gift exchanges or like spend time with family or anything like that. But it's more so like the concept. It's like, I would want to get the holidays off because everyone else is getting the holidays off. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I deserve this day off because everyone else has a day off. It's a matter of principle. Yeah, no. I, uh... I, I remember like when I was in school for... For NYU, it's it's particularly really stressful because um, you don't get off until Christmas Eve. So, like, my last exam for my junior year was... Sorry, not my junior year. My, my sophomore year. My last exam for my sophomore year was... No, 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 sorry. It was my junior year. Yeah, I lied. My last exam for my junior year was on the 24th. So like I had the I had the exam in the morning of the 24th and then Christmas was the next day, you know. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. I don't enjoy it, but I also know someone else potentially has off when I take the shift, so ah, I see, I see. That's valid. I mean, if you get paid extra during holiday season, I think it's worth it. Because it's like, you know, the holiday bonus. Especially if you don't have anything else to do. It's like, you know, you might as well kind of thing. Alright, let's save. Gotta always make sure to save. And then let's go. <clears throat> God damn, it's chilly outside. Oh, right. More music. Oh, so we'll just keep it. I didn't know NYU got off so late. Yeah, no, NYU gets off really late. So, like, you could get... The thing is, like, NYU is weird where it's like, you could get off earlier. But depending on what your exam schedule is like, you sometimes won't get off until Christmas Eve. Like, until the day of Christmas Eve. <clears throat> oh! Art! I forgot who Art was. I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? 
let's see. Um, detective guy comes in. Cat boomer girl greets him. They, don't, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibutsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got all riled up and started back mad, uh, bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Oh, this guy, right! <clears throat> I remember him. Needed to see a face. I don't remember his face. While I won't decide, while I won't deny Zaibatsu, Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah. If I enhanced, you mean by getting yanked around by the shitty new chain around our necks? Can't you see those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect the kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that caused my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibotsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program, they started making huge advancements in AI departments. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's linen prison. AI went rogue, transferred to livery drone, and ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has proven to have many reformed AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibutsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continue to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet either at your face. I mean, plant their feet, what? Plant, oh, plant their feet on your face. I was like, feet, face, foot, what? Feet? <laughs> yeah, steppies? Steppies for free? Whoa, whoa, steppies for free? That's crazy. Not the free steppies. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower class. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Um, Zaibutsu Corp's main medical research brand has made a lot of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medical shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there's also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need more personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Go just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Um, sure. <laughs> oh, four of each ingredient. Okay. Fire integrity on the rocks and mixed. Zen star. Oh. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I've always failed to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to few. I can talk about all advances I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging to... What? I... Didn't click anything. I didn't even know you could access the chat log. How do you... What? How did that ha... Oh, oh, I probably scrolled up by accident. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like the improvements in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away from the fact that there have been more positive changes. 
kind of where credit's due, don't you think? That's a... Pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people who are afraid of discussions are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can tell you at least that she wasn't at the bank when I opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. Are the corpses are accounted for? They only found one totally disfigured, but the witness identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, say he might, be a, say he might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl, so surely she did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> God, not the bad touch. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, fuck me. That's the wrong thing. Um, can we double this? Let's see. Yes, we can double this. It'd be exact. On the rocks, mixed. Bad touch. And then this one as well. On the rocks, mixed. Nice. There we go. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Why don't you light up to stop him? Um... Are you okay, Jill? I'm... Fine, <laughs> fine. Now that I think about it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago? Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the name, same bank as the... Wait. That a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about was say is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. Like I said, she's resourceful. Surely she found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. Do you want another drink, Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Della? I'm fine, get his order. Piano man. Oh, fuck. Can you remove stuff? You can't, right? Da, na, na, 
na 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 ba ba ra ba ba ra ya ba ra ba ba ra ba 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 ra ba du bu du 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 all right um on the rocks mixed yeah piano man gear so this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right, I should get going. My contract will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Sei's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is... soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Oh. Brian's back. All right, then. That would be all, Donna. Quite a mess, the situation with, um... Robert. Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, uh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure. Oh. Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. I didn't mean to do that. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Oh. <laughs> what is that? The cell phone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Um, I'm Jill. Say, uh, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And when you say it's more interesting that we are. It finally hung up. Whew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have huh, arrived yet again at uh, huh, the Majestic Hall. Oh, no, it's fucking, it's, it's fucking this guy, dude. Calm until now. Ah, uh, it's fucking this guy. We meet again, bartender! You look winded, Virgil. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free, they want to be pronounced however they want. You look, uh, winded, for Helio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hands of fate. Just stumbling until it decides to not wind us anymore. And yet you're not the only one in the vicinity. I mean, sorry. And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Uh, yeah, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. What? What does this mean? Something fake. What does that even mean? That's what I'm looking for, yeah. I'm, re I'm reading the descriptions.
<laughs> this drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. Is that fake? Mm. Yeah, beer says it's almost like the real thing. It says, uh, traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. So this is technically fake, so we can go with that. What's the other one, though? What's the other answer? I'm curious. All mixed. Here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations about me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Say, uh, Virgilia, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that exist in the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owners. Really? He yeah. He told me, stop touching the exhibit. You're going to break them. The nerve of some people. Uh. Uh. He still fails to recognize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even though the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those, why can't the owner realize that too? Uh, yeah. I bet he treats you just like a janitor or something like that. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Can, can we just give him, like, all alcohol? Is that... Is that purity? What the fuck does purity mean, man? God, I hate having to read the fucking descriptions! I have no idea. Purity? What does that mean? I'm gonna look it up. I'm I'm curious if I can figure it out. I, I wanna see if I can figure it out. I'm gonna look through the list of drinks one more time. Okay, purity. Um, purity could mean that it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. Maybe? Teeth turn blue. Purity. Hmm. I mean, maybe look at the names. Bad Touch, Beer, Bleeding Jane, Bloom Light, Blue Fairy? Crevice Spike, Fluffy Dream, Fringe Weaver. Is it gonna- is it Fringe Weaver? Is it Fringe Weaver? Because it's like, it's pure alcohol. It's like just a little bit of sugar. That would be my best guess. That, that would, that would be my best guess. All right, we're gonna go for it. Nine. 
Oh, just, oh, everything else is just alcohol. Okay. Um, okay. Aged and mixed. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Hmm? Hey, you're the guy over there. Was that wrong? That was wrong, wasn't it? You didn't respond the way. You didn't. Re you didn't respond very enthusiastically. Hey, you, the guy over there. Me. Yes, you. Have we met before? Uh, can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think. No, 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 we haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Bye, Yato. Take care, take care. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Uh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye! What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, 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 ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yup, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Bargilo guy! So you two actually have met before. Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Jill stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well... We were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to, uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one time when the time comes. Ah. Uh, oh. I was also tuning out the details for the new employee. New employee? Timer, you'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. We have so much money now. We have enough money to cover the electricity bill! Bourbon, hello, welcome to the stream! Fun fact about Virgil- oh yeah! What, you're gonna tell me that it doesn't matter what drink you serve him, he's gonna be like, Oh, bravo, every single time? He's based on a character made by James Stephanie Sterling. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Wow, from games critic to professional wrestler, that's a... That's a steep change, dude. That's a really steep change. Alright! Jill's a bit tense buying a shoulder massager. Okay. Um, we're gonna end here for today. Finish another day up, so we will go ahead and save. On day 8. And continue this off next week on Monday. So yes, thank you for joining me today, guys. I appreciate it. We're going to end here for Valhalla. <gasps> and then we will continue on with this again next week on Monday at the same time. Thank you for coming today, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like 
I said that in the wrong order. Remember, I, I'm still getting used to this. Give me, give me like a few streams, you know? Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next Monday at 8 p.m. EST for some more Valhalla. Where's the disc? Click that bell, like, and comment. Um, if you're here in the stream right now, comment ya yeah in the comment description right now. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. Uh, I don't know, man. Smash that like button. Comment ya yeah in the in the comments below. Um, okay, yeah. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. And I will catch you guys next time on Twitch on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we're gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club under Mina's recommendation. She she was like, you should play this game. And I was like, okay, I'll play it. And uh, I will be having two guests, Evie and Mina, helping me voice through the everything, uh, voice through the entirety of the uh, visual novel. I'm excited. I've heard really good things about it. But yes, we're gonna end here for today. Have a wonderful rest of your night. I'll see you guys on the Discord. Take care. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Otsumagi! Bye-bye!